New at five, local animal shelters seen an increase in a highly contagious virus. The Parvo virus can be deadly for pets if it goes untreated. And as 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez found, it can take a lot to get these animals back to normal. Every animal that comes into the KC Pet Project is vaccinated to protect themselves and others. Recently, the shelter has seen an influx of animals with the parvo virus that's highly contagious. And oftentimes it is a heartbreaking experience. If we don't catch it ahead of time um, where, you know, they're very sick, oftentimes these animals don't make it. The infected animals are treated at the shelter's acclaimed parvo virus ward. And we're actually starting to see more animals coming in from other organizations that we're treating for parvo now um, that maybe just don't have the resources or the facility to be able to treat them. 40 38 pets have been in this room so far this year compared to 34 during the same time period last year. We start to see a lot of them coming in during these summer months. Whenever the weather's warmer, people are out walking their pets more, going to the dog park, and this can really affect um, a lot of unvaccinated dogs and puppies. Basically, it ravages the intestinal tract and the immune system. Dr. And Wayne so Hunthausen at the Westwood Animal Hospital has observed how quick the virus can attack a dog's system. I've had uh, families that left in the morning, the pet was just off a little bit, and they come back home uh, eight, ten hours later, and the pet's vomiting, diarrhea, can't even move. Moisture from the recent rainfall helps the virus thrive. Time of year like this, uh, they're going to last longer in the environment than they are during an arid time or during a really cold time of the year, like during the winter. Making vaccinations critical. Our problem vaccination will run you 35 to $50, which is much cheaper than the cost of treating parvo, which could begin at $600 and go all the way up to several thousand. Even if, if they're apartment puppies, they should be vaccinated because it's a very hardy virus and people can track that virus into their apartment or their condo. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. Many cute dogs. Initial symptoms of parvo include dehydration, lethargic behavior, and loss of appetite. Most cases of parvo can be prevented with a series of vaccines every month until a puppy is four months old. Dogs should be vaccinated against one year later and can go for a booster shot every three years.